What up, it's your girl Minna, and welcome back to my channel. I'm glad that you're here. Make sure you subscribe before we jump into the video. I wanna make sure that you are a returner, you know? You gotta make sure you come back, hello. In this video, I wanna go over a few things to consider when first buying a primer and then choosing which primer to use with your foundation. You may or may not realize this, but the primer does make a difference. It's really important when deciding what finish you wanna get with your makeup, and that really does start with the primer. It's in conjunction with the foundation, but I'll explain all of that in a second. So make sure you subscribe. All right, so let's say that you're someone who likes to have a matte foundation, right? You want your face to be matte. You don't wanna have any shine at all. You just can't stand that little hint of satin finish to your face, and you wanna be 100% completely matte. I wanna tell you that in addition to your primer, the weather outside plays a part in how your makeup is going to look. So in the winter time, if I use a mattifying primer, a matte foundation, and even a matte setting spray, my face is going to be so dry in the winter time that I might even feel like it's actually too dry and uncomfortable. But everyone is different, so it's up to you to see what combination you really wanna go with. But if it's the dead of summer in Houston and I use a mattifying primer, a matte foundation, and a matte setting spray, I'm gonna be matte, but depending on you, if it's me, my natural skin oils are still gonna peek through, but it shouldn't be like bad. Like I shouldn't look like a frying pan. You see what I'm saying? There's still gonna be some natural oils that peek through depending on the person. If you have dry skin and you wanna be matte and you go full horsepower, matte primer, matte foundation, matte setting spray, to me, that is not a good recipe because your skin is dry. Now, the caveat to that, there's some nuances here, is that if you really work on the hydration on the back end, which is the skincare, then maybe your skin won't be as dry. And then when you do those three things, the matte primer, the matte foundation, the matte setting spray, maybe it won't be that dry drying, like it'll be comfortable for you because there's a difference between being matte and feeling good, like your face looks good, no patches, no weirdness, no cracking, or being matte and your face feels dry, like when you move it, it's just like, ugh, and I've been there before and it's been like, yo, I did too much today. So I do want you to keep that in mind when you are pairing your primer, your foundation, and your setting spray together. So I pulled out a few primers in my stash that I wanna talk about and I will tell you what I would do if I wanted to get a matte look. And if you're wondering, this look I did for Instagram. So you can go over to my Instagram page and take a look at that. Now, there are matte primers that aren't actually matte. They don't work. <laughs> and then there are matte primers that work. But I think it's all relative. So what may work for me and make me feel like, oh yes, Matt, okay. You might put it on and might be like, mm, that did nothing for me, you see? So keep that in mind as I discuss these primers. Now, the two primers I first want to talk about are the e.l.f. putty primers. On my left, I have the matte one. On my right, I have the poreless one. So we're not going to discuss the porelessness, porelessosities of it. We're talking about mattification, okay? This one obviously is not going to mattify you. It's not making any claims about mattifying your face at all. It's just supposed to make you poreless. And when I used it, I didn't feel poreless. I just felt like myself. I looked like myself. Nothing really changed. It was just fun to use, okay? Then we have the mattifying one, the matte putty primer. This one, I would say, is a dupe for the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. This thing is, what, almost $50, and this thing was less than $10. I'm so sick about it. They both look the same. They both feel this. Okay, well, this one's pink. This has a little fragrance to it. This has nothing to it. First of all, I don't know anyone that is going to finish any of these. And I I say that because I have a lot of makeup, thank God, and I don't really hit pan on stuff like this. But if you're someone that has only one primer and you use this like the whole year, yeah, I, I suppose you'll finish it. But back to the e.l.f. one, this claims to be matte. On me, it is not mattifying. When I wore this, I just felt like myself. I felt regular. It looked fine in the beginning, and then through the day, I was looking a little dewy. I didn't look like dewy where I sprayed a dewy spray on my face because that's a different level of dewy. That's like high power dewy. I just did not look matte at all in any sense of the word. This for me is not mattifying and what I want to point out to you is that just because a product says that it's matte does not mean it's going to be matte on you. So it could not be matte on you or it could literally just not even be a matte product. You see there are some nuances there. 
So I just want you to be careful when you are picking out your primers when you're wanting to be completely matte. Now, the one primer that I really do like drugstore because I'm all about saving a buck, I'm, I'm okay to spend the money too, but who doesn't want to save some money too? Is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Primer. I like this primer a lot because it's drugstore. When you put it on, it, like your face immediately becomes ashy and that's a good thing. When you apply this, you can't rub it too much. You just rub it quickly and leave it alone and let it dry. It'll dry white, like almost like milk of magnesia. Remember those days? I know you did it too. And then you put your foundation on top of it as usual. Make sure you put a thin layer because if it's clumpy, it'll show. And this really is really good at being matte. However, like I said, in the summertime, no matter what I use or do, my skin, the natural skin oils do peek through, but I like this a lot. I like this for mattification. It does have a matching foundation. And if you put the two of them together, you are on your way to high power mattification. Now everyone is different. Everyone's skin is different. So you might put this on and think, whoa, I was too dry. It was uncomfortable. I cannot do that. But when I put this on, I love it. Now the thing about primers, let's just back up from one half second. When you put a primer on, your primer should go only where you need it. So if you're wanting to be matte in your T-zone, why on God's green earth would you put your mattifying primer on your cheeks? Just a question. Put your primer only where you need it. If you want to matte in your T-zone, put your mattifying primer in your T-zone. If your cheeks are fine and there's no pore issues, leave them alone. Don't prime your cheeks. I don't prime my cheeks. Maybe I'll put primer here, but not always. I leave it alone. Unless it's a spray, a spray obviously just goes everywhere. If you have pores that are big on your cheeks and you want to smooth them over, or you want to use a poreless primer like this or something else, then put your, te put your mattifying primer on your t-zone and then put your poreless primer on your cheeks put the primer only where it needs to go only in the targeted areas and yes you can to me use two different primers put them only where they belong. Like if you have dry cheeks, some dry patches, of course it all starts with skincare, but let's say you sat down and you still got the issues going on and that's fine. Put the hydrating primer on your cheeks, put the mattifying primer on your T-zone. Only put it where you need it. That's all I gotta say. So back to this. I like this a lot, very mattifying. It's different on everybody, but I, I encourage you to try it out if you are looking for matte mattification. The matching foundation is great also. A dupe for this one would be the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer. I like this one also. Also, different price ranges, obviously, but they're both really good and they work really well. The thing about the mattifying primer though, and I alluded to this earlier, but I want to circle back around is that you want to make sure if you want to be matte, don't put a matte primer on and then put on a hydrating foundation. That ain't going to work. You're defeating the purposes of all the things. Hydration is like stronger than the mattification. You're going to look hydrated. Don't waste your time. If you want to be matte, go for a mattifying primer, a mattifying foundation, and a mattifying setting spray. If you want to be kind of like sad, and in between, kind of in the middle, you know, a little mixture, then go ahead and do your mattifying primer. Do your satin finish foundation. So that's a foundation that is not matte, it's not dewy, it's in between. And I haven't found a foundation that calls itself satin, but you'll find some that are like, this is calling itself matte, but on me, I don't normally feel matte. You know, again, I know it's confusing, but the more you get different products, you'll see what I mean. Not everything that calls itself that thing, hey, we appreciate Preaching. We're preaching. This is a word. Is actually that thing in the same range true for makeup? If you have like four or five foundations that you're rotating through, after some time, you should know how each perform on your skin. If you're paying attention, and I encourage you to pay attention, see how these things perform on your skin. Then you'll get to know what primer works best with what and going forward. Because for instance, the, the Fenty Pro Milk Pro, Pro, Pro what? The Fenty Pro Filter Matte Foundation. Foundation, love it to death. That gives me high horsepower mattification. I'm trying to tell you something, okay? The thing about it is that if you pair that with this or this, you gonna be dry. And I would never do that unless it was summertime. I would never do that combination in the winter time. I would be so uncomfortable. The weather outside plays a part in how your makeup looks. Plays a part, got to know this. If you're going to be at an indoor setting, that plays a part as well. You may feel too dry, you know, you're indoors. Or, you know, you may feel too greasy if you're gonna be outside all day. Pairing the foundation with the primer does make a difference. But I know this video is about primers, but I can't talk about that without like, 
discussing the, the foundations. So like it means something. I did do a video on my foundations that I rotate through. So make sure you watch that for reference on what my colors are and how each of the different foundations wear on my face. If you want to be dewy, I don't always want to be dewy, but these days I'll be into the dewiness. You know, we're in the summertime, but not to mention I'm kind of feeling a little bit dehydrated on my skin. So I have been into the dewy finish these days. It's very unusual. Enjoy it while it lasts, okay? I have been into this Revlon Rose Glow. Rose Revlon Photo Ready Rose Glow Hydrating Illuminating Primer. I like this. I put some on my face. I rub it in. I put on my hydrating foundation. See, I wouldn't do this with a matte foundation unless I just really liked the matte foundation. Like I just really wanted to put on NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop or Fenty Pro Filter. Let's say that's all you have, but you want to balance it out a little bit because you're feeling too dry with either of those. Then okay, fine. This will balance you out where you're not going to be so dry. See, you basically are creating your own formula when you're doing your face. And how do you know what formula to create? You got to know your face. You got to know how you feel. It's trial and error. You do it and you're way too dry. You know, tomorrow, yo, yesterday at work, my face was real chapped. So tomorrow I got to make sure I have some more hydration. So let's say all you have is a mattifying foundation. Then you want to make sure you put on a hydrating primer to help balance it out a little bit. You may even want to spray a hydrating setting spray on it afterward, depending on how dry you felt the day before. You're just mixing your own formula based on how the products react to your skin. If I just really wanted to be really dewy, I've been using this and I like it a whole lot. And there are a few, there are like there are a bunch. There are a bunch of hydrating primers that are out there. Even this poreless putty one, to me is hydrating. Like it doesn't make me mad. It doesn't do any of those things. So if I wanted to be hydrated, you know, I would use this and I have it and who wants to waste product? So, you know, I would just use this or I would use a primer that is literally for that. It literally markets itself to hydrate and, and glow, like give the skin a glow. As I'm talking, I feel like I'm confusing you and it makes sense to me because I've been doing makeup for over 10 years now. I hope that this is, provides you with some kind of clarity. I want you to comment and I want to have a discussion. I want to make sure that you're learning. See, here's the thing. You're going to find, and I'm sure you have already, accounts where their main focus is to entertain you with whatever it is. Then you're going to find accounts whose main focus is to not only entertain, but also educate you. And that's where I fall in. I'm here to educate and entertain, okay? Because your girl got jokes, okay? But I also want you to learn. I want you to learn how to do your makeup. I want you to learn. I hope that a video like this would help educate you and help you learn more. I have other videos that are more like teaching videos like this that I hope that you find interesting. And I want you to share this with your friends, watch it again and again, but comment below if any of it was confusing to you, if you need any more, any more clarity. I have not tried every primer on the market. I have not tried every foundation on the market. So I can't speak to all of them, but the general rule of thumb that I want you to remember is based on how you want your skin to feel and look through the day, that's how you determine what products you use. That's how you determine what primer to use, what foundation to use, what setting spray to use, honestly. And then if you do it and you're like at work or you went somewhere and you're like, yo, this was a wreck, then you try something different the next day. It will take buying a few things. I do understand that. But I'm also a fan of returning something if it doesn't work. If it's within the returning window, send it back, okay? But I hope this helped you. I want you to, again, comment below. Let me know if you have any questions, anything you want me to clarify, and any other videos like this that'll help you understand makeup more. It's one thing to watch a million and one YouTube videos, but it's another thing to actually understand what you're doing. And I want you to understand what you're doing. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.